I'm with Rachel Samulski from Riverview Family Farm. This place has a very interesting history, right? So would you please tell us about it? Um, we can track back to 1801, the farm started. We've raised crops, sheep, dairy, but since the late 60s, we, we raised beef cattle. So right now we raise Black Angus beef cattle and we host events here on the farm. Um, I'm the sixth generation on the farm. My children will be the seventh generation. And you have a market across the street. What is over there? So in December, we opened our market. We've always sold, I think since the mid 40s, our beef direct to customers, but we've done, uh, sold it on the hoof. So now uh, customers can come in and buy retail. They can purchase a couple of steaks or a few packs of ground beef. Uh, we also sell local uh, cheese, honey, other products, gifts, ice cream. Uh, we're open Thursdays and Fridays, 10 to 6, and Saturdays, 10 to 4. We'll have longer hours in the summer for ice cream. Right now, my brother handles the beef cattle operation. I handle the public side of things, and it kind of works in hand in hand. So we have Black Angus, which has uh, gotten very popular lately. And we, have a, we run a cow-calf operation, so we have the farm here, and we lease a neighbor's farm. And we have a close to 200 head and um, then we'll process close to 100 a year. Ag is still the number one industry in the state of Tennessee. It, it's huge. Mm -hmm. And as you said, your family's had this farm yes. for six generations. Uh, what do you think it is that, that, that keeps, keeps you all going? And also, can you talk about the importance of the ag side of things to our local economy and to our state as a whole? It used to be that people were one generation off the farm, or maybe two, maybe their grandparents had a farm and they used to farm. Now we're finding people that have come out that they've never stepped foot on a farm. So by educating them, you know, they're becoming more knowledgeable where their food comes from, the traceability of their food. Um, for us, it was a land grant. So I tell my children every day, it's a gift. You have to preserve this and take care of it and share it. I think it's wonderful that you've taken your business model mm -hmm. and really integrated two separate things mm -hmm. and brought them together and have been able to pivot to make it all work. So it's not only um, about ag, okay? Right. And I think we often forget small business is the backbone of our country. Mm -hmm. We all know that, but we don't usually include small farms as small business. We think they're separate yeah. categories, yeah. even though they are. And you show the entrepreneurship that goes along with all of this. Mm -hmm. How do people contact you? So you can go to the website, riverviewfamilyfarm.com, or you can go on our Facebook page, which is Riverview Family Farm or Riverview Family Farm Market. And um, my email is rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L, at riverviewfamilyfarm.com. Rachel, thank you very much. Congratulations on your success, and I hope for much success for you and your family in the future. Thank you so much.